Okay, so today we're going to work on the left hand side, all of the buildings in here, and it's going to be more like a suggestion. So I have here uh, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, cerulean blue, ultramarine violet, raw umber, and white. I'm going to start from the back. I'm going to start from the this part right here. All of that in the back and I'm going to come forward. So the more I come forward, the more I'm going to put a bit more detail. But the back is going to be very, very, um, um, very general, like soft. So I'm going to start with white. I'm going to take white. Put it here and a little bit of blue and this is now as you can see it's really bright and beautiful because cerulean is a beautiful blue so summer mm -hmm. kind of blue and this is not a summer mm -hmm. so i'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine violet put it in and raw umber. Raw umber will give it that grayish, bluish color. Just a little bit of raw umber, don't put too much. So now it's just kind of make, made it a bit more earthy. And now I'm going to come here. I need a little bit more white because it's going to dry darker and it needs to be earthy. More, a bit of more wrong. Yeah, that's good. I'm not going to worry too much because what I'm going to do after is I'm going to eventually uh, put some falling snow A little bit more blue. And actually blue and raw umber. Stick blue, raw umber. And let's put some, a little bit of detail. Not much, just a tiny bit, just to make it more interesting and not so white. More blue, a little bit more raw umber in my blue. Let's take a Okay. I'm simplifying what I'm seeing. So if you're looking at the uh, if you're looking at the reference you might not see some of the things I'm putting in here, but it's just because I'm simplifying. I'm taking the general look 
and I'm going to play around with that. I don't want anything to be too, uh, too uh, detailed. It doesn't matter what it is, it's just a bunch of geometric colors or geometric forms in there. It doesn't have to look like a window. So as soon as I look at it as a window, I am going to be confused. I'm going to start trying to make it look like a window and it's not. The, the idea is not to make it like anything. Just a bunch of colors and shapes. And taking a little bit more of the raw umber at this point with mixed with my paint I'm not changing the, the um, color or I'm not cleaning my brush and I'm just gonna oh a little bit white need my bit of water in there all right, that's good. So if I look at something and I like it, you know, I, I look at the color or the shape and I like it, I put it in. If I don't like it, I don't have to put it in. Or sometimes I don't understand what it is. I could, I can't tell. So I'll just leave it. Okay. Again, not a lot of detail in here. I'm t adjusting the value because of course acrylic dries darker and sometimes when I put the paint on it looks like it's going to look okay but it doesn't it dries really dark and harsh okay let's take a bit of white put it in You can see a little bit of a darker blue on the side. I am using um, cerulean with, of course, raw umber. Let's put a bit of white in there, tiny bit, and then continue. It's a lot more detail. I'm seeing a lot more in there, but I'm simplifying. I'm not going to do exactly the same.
I'm going to pause a bit and then we'll come back to it. Let's continue. Same. Same colors. Blue, white, um, raw umber. Some white, blues, some raw umber. Let's put a bit of purple in there too. Purple is a good color to tone down and to push things back. So let's go down. Um, there's a, a a nice kind of red awning right here. I, I went over it a bit, but we can ignore that for now and go under, you know, paint underneath. Let's increase the amount of brown and just go in. I don't want to forget to put white in my browns because these are not really, these are kind of toned down colors because they're far and it's snowing and it's a gray day. So we don't see anything sharp in here, any color that is sharp. And again, if I find that it's, uh, my colors are drying too, too dark. I could leave them and then wait until I start putting the snow over, which is a good idea. Now I'm going to start changing to blues in here. So I'm using the brown and then I'm going to change to blue now with brown. This is now some brown with blues. The blue that I have on my paint, on my brush, I'm not cleaning it. I'm just adding some brown and white. And I'm just going to put some here. Let's not make it into a sharp line of things happening in here. So I'm going to go over this part a bit. Gonna make this line not too sharp, mess it up a bit. And let's go back, blue, go back to blues, brown, And from here, there are awnings on top. All of this part, there are some kind of blue and uh, red awnings. So I'm going to ignore this. I'm going to work, not ignore it, actually work, start painting underneath from here. Let's take brown at this point, put some white in it.
So I'm adding blues and whites and browns. That's it. I'm just going back and forth between blue, brown, and white. But I'm trying not to get a straight line um, or have a straight line or straight lines in there. Um, just keep it kind of simple. I'm going to take a little bit of brown and I'm going to put some brown in here. Too many straight lines, so let's do this. Again, it doesn't matter what it is. We're not trying to show anything specific. Just lines and dots and let's take white, add white here. Okay. I'm going to take brown and I'm just going to put some brown up here. Sometimes in between all of these lines and, and uh, shapes, it's nice to have a, a bigger shape, you know, a, a square, a rectangle, big one, just variety. It's a good, um, good thing to have, to break all of that small, small ones. Don't forget that eventually we're going to put snow over all this. Now, let's take now here there's a bunch of uh, bluish grayish lines in here, so it's I'm just going to use blue, cerulean blue. Raw umber. And that will give me exactly these, the colors I'm seeing in there. Let's go in. Okay, let's put some white. Right, some white in here in these colors right there. A little bit more white. A 
dark blue again. Not, I mean, yeah, darker blue. Perfect. Okay. So most of the time what I'm doing is I'm watching my values in there. You know, what I'm getting in terms of value, dark light, um, and shapes. I don't want to make it too busy. Perfect. It's good. Good, good. Okay. I'm going to pause a bit so we can do this. And then we'll go back. Okay, I'm recording right now. So there we go. Blue. White. And raw umber again, and we're going to switch to yellow very soon. So this is not going to be now the this upper part uh, right here behind that column it's sitting there. Perfect. A bit more blue and raw umber, less white. We're coming closer so we can go darker now. All right, a little bit more of that dark blue, dark earthy blue. OK, 
Okay, now. And there are some more blues in here, dark. In between, I'm going to take a little bit more of the uh, brown. I'm going to make it a little bit more brownish. On top of this, I'm going to be putting some yellows in, in, in a minute. Lines, yellow lines. Let's put some over this, add some white at this point. Same color, just add some white to it. I need to change my brush and use a smaller one, round. Now, at this point, I'm going to keep this round brush, take yellow ochre, Again, yellow ochre with the big brush, flat or bright that I'm using. I'm going to put a bit of raw umber in it, just a tiny bit of raw umber, just to tone it down. And I'm going to put one right here. Also, same, yellow ochre, raw umber, and 
I'll just put some lines in here. Now, at this point, I can see a little bit of flat, too much of a flat, which is fine, but it would be nice to work on this flat thing with any colors you have there. Just add some white. Let's take this. More, more of the brown. Nothing specific. I'm just putting dots and lines and nothing really, nothing that is, you know, when you look at it, you, you can't tell still. Uh, there's this bit of snow up here on that. This is a sign, I think. So a shop sign. So I think there's a little bit more of something happening in here. I'm going to adjust my values a bit at this point because things are drying and I can tell that they're drying darker maybe just make it uh, much more interesting and have some not details but just some interesting lines in there. Okay, let's continue. Brown, blue, cerulean blue, raw umber. More like a grayish blue. And I'm going to come over here. This, if I put the color here, then I could, I can tell what's going to, ha what's happening in between. You know, it's just, it, it will frame the rest it will frame in between these two it will frame this so it's easier for me to know what's happening what's going on in there
All right, I'm going to let it dry because I don't want it to lift. And I'll work on what's behind it or in between. So um, I can see again, I'm going to put a bit of the same colors, blues and uh, blue and um, um, uh, brown. And I'm just going to put it this way. It's easier. With a bit of white. So in between this column and this one here, the it's a blue and brown, but with white. More white. Again, a little bit more white down here, like this. And let's do the same, okay, up here, actually, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow at this point. I didn't really clean my brush, I just added yellow, and let's see, that's fine. Maybe a little bit too yellow, but here, let's put some brown in my yellow. Again, yellow, yellow ochre with raw umber. Wipe my brush. doesn't matter if the line is straight, it's not straight, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Let's put again a little bit of brown in my yellow, a little bit of white, brown again, because I don't want it to be too white, and just cover this one here. Let's take a bit of brown put something happening in there like some movement again brown more brown Now I'm waiting for this to dry so I can adjust um, anything in there that needs to be adjusted. Um, I'm adding blues again in blue, blue and brown. So when I say blue, that's blue with a cerulean blue with raw umber. Oops. Okay. 
All right, at this point, I'm going to move on to this column again that I started right there and it turning really kind of dark and, and muddy. So I'm going to put more cerulean blue in here, a little bit of raw umber. And I'm going to do another layer. Ah, oh, that's much better. Much nicer now. Let's put a bit of highlight, just a line, one line, just a bit right here. Okay, excellent. More, more brown, less blue at this point. I know there's a a beautiful little kind of wind chime in there that I'm going to go over it for now. All right, let's put some lighter blue-gray or blue-brown in here. Perfect. Right, this is drying a little bit too strong, but um, I'm just going to do a third layer with blue and brown, or more blue than brown, and a little bit of white, just to tone it down a bit. It's just getting, it's looking a little bit too, too blue. Of course, because it's acrylics, it's just drying darker. So I'm 
just going to adjust the value a bit. There. That's better. Way, way better. Much better. All right. Let's take at this point a little bit more brown, white, some blue. It's a lot darker in the picture, but it doesn't matter in the reference. Okay. Now, I'm going to take again yellow ochre, put some raw umber in it. Sorry. Again, cerulean, lots of brown. There is a dark, dark color in here. And that is, and it changes into reds. So instead of putting red right now, we're just going to put that dark color, the dark color in here first, and then we'll put red over it. Makes it much more interesting once you get some color going on. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to turn it around because it's very hard for me to have a make a straight line sideways. And you know if you find that it's not straight line is not happening, put some masking tape if you want. I lost that line too. All right. Since I have the colors right now, I see a little bit of a lighter blue in there. Not because I want to 
you know, put those same what I'm seeing in there. It's just it's a nice, it's a nice little. Uh, you, you break that hard, uh, um, strong dark color, uh, breaking it with a bit of something happening in here, reflection. Uh, Next week, we'll put the red around. Okay. Okay, so this is where we're um, we finish the more most of the blues and the yellows. Next week we'll add the burgundy colors, and we will continue next week. <laughs>